Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to From Heroes to Icons. This is Jason, finally back again for another video. This is a special episode of On The Run for a hashtag that I've been doing on Instagram, John Byrne January. And I'm not going to go through all of the John Byrne books. If you want to see uh, something like that, we have a John Byrne retrospective with myself, Menorog, and J Hood Creative that you could watch on our separate channels. But here for the month of January, pretty much the end of January, I'm going to show what I say is the best run and maybe the longest run that John Byrne has had on any comic book series, and it is the Fantastic Four. These first few books that I'm going to show, uh, he did uh, the interiors and some of the cover work on it. He was inked by Joe Sinat, or should I say he was finished by Joe Sinat. And uh, very, very beautiful books also. Got some keys in here. I don't know if I'm going to show all of them in here, but... uh. It's a lot of books. May have to break this up maybe into three videos. Depends on how my breath takes. Uh, still recovering from being sick. So uh, if I stutter, you hear some weird noise from the machine or whatever. Hopefully you should not. It's in the other room. But uh, if I slow down, I have to catch my breath or something like that. Just bear with me. Thank you for joining me here. All of my John Byrne fanatics, fantastic four people. Uh, just stay tuned. Got, uh, I think it started off with the Fantastic Four 209, which is the first appearance of Herbie. Those who have watched the old school cartoon from back in the days know him. I'm going to be reaching around. This is going to be a, uh, kind of weird, but, uh, Fantastic Four 210. I'm going to try to barrel through these if you can endure. Uh, a key book right here. 211. I think this is the first appearance of uh, Terex after he got transformed by Galactus. 212. Galactus fights. I think his name was uh, about to call him the monolith, but it's not. The Sphinx, which is pretty dope. And you can see a little bit of burn in it, but it was very heavily inked by Joe Sinat, so it almost looks like Joe Sinat did the whole thing. He did not write these, those started a little bit later. 214. These books uh, is like the highlight of my childhood life besides X-Men. 215, Blast Star. These last few, uh, he didn't do the covers, but he did do the interiors, as I said before, heavily inked by Joe Sinat. 217. 218. Throw these last few up here. 219. And I, I have to say, these uh this series of books was extremely sci-fi as far as uh genre is concerned with the Fantastic Four and stuff. Very, very deep into the hi-fi. Sci-fi. Hi-fi. And uh this book right here, 220. Really super dope red cover right there. And it has been uh, ripped quite a few times. Love that book right there. And uh, it jumps a little bit. And that was like the last of Byrne doing pencils on it. And then uh, his, what I call his super run started with Fantastic Four 232 with Diablo right there. Don't mind the glare. It's like a bag's not perfect. But I think I have like a six copies of that. One of them definitely nine, eight candidate. I uh, want to get that slabbed one of these days. But uh, after this, uh, this entire run, John Byrne both wrote and penciled these uh, books right here. Really, really super dope. 233. And um, you can tell that he took over uh, full pencils and everything on this because the characters 
when he was doing it with Joe Sinat were much more, excuse me, rounder and uh, a little bit bulkier. But all his characters here are much more streamlined and uh, have a more uh, square look to them. I like this look much better, to tell you the truth. 234. And he has ripped himself doing this white silhouette a bunch of times. Uh, 235. Like I said, uh, John Byrne really knew what to do with the Fantastic Four. Kept them very uh, sci-fi uh, and extra superhero -y at the same time with all the family drama mixed in with it. We've got this anniversary issue right here. 236, oversized joint right there. Stanley in the back. I do have a 9.8 from uh, CBCS of that. And also like another three copies of that. Couldn't be helped. 237. They had some really weird, obscure uh, villains that were kind of like one and done a lot of times with this. Dr. Doom appeared a lot. 238. And some good uh, Frankie Ray Nova goodness. 239. You got the Inhumans. 240. And his, uh, his artwork on this was just stunning, personally. I mean, besides his run on the X-Men, this has to be uh, my personal favorite of his, indeed. 241, little Black Panther action there. Some more Terex. We got 242. He's a beast. These books was do so dope. Try to keep from having an accident over here with these. Uh, this is a big one here, <laughs> literally on the cover. 243, I believe this issue is called uh, When Galactus Falls or something like that. Super, super dope. And I guess uh, even giants, when they get hungry, feel faint. <laughs> and um, one of the bigger books, personally, for me, I think I have uh, eight copies of this. I just need two more to get ten. I don't know why I want ten issues of this book. But um, the first appearance of Frankie Ray as Nova, the Herald of Galactus, Fantastic Four, 244. Beautiful book right there. I love that cover. Love it to death. Fantastic Four, 245. I believe that's a key for some reason. Uh, I'm not really heavily into that stuff. I just love the books. Uh, Metarog or J-Hood might be able to tell you exactly what. Fantastic Four 246. Some more Doctor Doom action right there, of course. How are we doing? Fantastic Four 247. This stuff is fantastic. <laughs> Pun intended. Yee! Um, I hope you guys have stuck around. I haven't been around for a while. I haven't been feeling well. And this setup just suits me right now. Fantastic Four 248. You know, I've got this uh, oxygen hooked up to my nose and really don't feel like being in front of the camera like that. So I hope you can appreciate just seeing the books. Um, really, really cool storyline right here. Fantastic Four 249 is stretched, I believe, to two issues right here. The Gladiator. Man and Superman. This is uh, before the century really blew up. This was a uh, Marvel Superman. And the more confident he is, the stronger he gets. Fantastic Four 250. That's a special deluxe size issue here. And it's like the Fantastic Four versus the Marvel Universe. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. So we are at nine minutes and some change. Um... I think I'll continue because I'm not out of breath and I do not know when I will be able to get back in this room to do this. 251, 
some negative zone action right there. And the colors and the uh just everything, how he put everything together was just perfect. One of my favorites right here. I think I got like seven of these too. Uh Fantastic Four two. 52 and if i am not mistaken i believe that is the first uh horizontal cover i believe is it i'll say that it is and i believe this issue right here nope that one does not have the tattoos in it but this one does dun, dun, dun. has the tattoos in that one right there and i think i have another three of those something like that love that book fantastic four two fifty four another one of those one and done weird characters super dope book though 253 some more space odyssey type action there floating heads you guys dig that uh 255 reed richards is laid out uh one of my favorite Marvel villains and Fantastic Four villains, Annihilus, Fantastic Four 256. And uh, another book that just the cover itself is just amazing. Got an extra one of these fit to be slabbed. Fantastic Four 257, Death and Galactus. Really, really good stuff here. Ugh. Past 11 minutes. You guys, please bear with me. Got a double of that. I'm trying to skip the doubles. Two of those. 258. I know that's a big one that I'll be seeing sometimes. 259. I'll try to just stop talking and run through these books. 260. 261. The Watcher there. A few doubles of that. Uh, the Trial of Reed Richards. 262. Important book there. 263. I remember getting this at the Busy Bee Mall in Massapequa. Woo! I think my sister gave me a gift certificate to Snakey's Collectibles. Crazy. Things that stick with you. 264, a riff from Fantastic Four, number one, a little bit. And She-Hulk joins the Fantastic Four. And 265. Pretty dope. 266. Got some more of these. We're going to... Yeah, we just going to power through these. Should we? Shall I Shall I quit or shall I go on? I believe I shall go on. 267. That's one of my favorites, too. I got that from the Busy Bee Mall from Stinkies also. The Memories. 268. The Mask of Doom. 269. Another Terminus sighting. 270, see him full-fledged out of the shadows there, 271, some more extra sci-fi action, got some uh, keys here, I think, 272, and which I think is the cameo, and 273, first appearance of Reed Richards' son, 274, Nice comic for uh, smashing out of the wall. Hashtag. I don't got these mixed up. Yes, I do. They are backwards. 275. Real cool She-Hulk and Stan Lee issue right there. 276. I think it's uh, Agatha Harkness issue. 277. Beautiful white cover, though. Super dope. 277. 278. 
Some more Doom 279. I gotta get another one of those. And 280. Whew. Whoa. No editing right there, boy. Almost caught the avalanche. Embarrassing. It is what it is, what it is. Going to the final stretch right here. Got a few more issues and also the annuals that John Byrne did. Uh, those who have been here with me for these 15 minutes, thank you very much. We are almost done. Ah, 281. At the evil Sue Richards. She was cutting and spinning, boy. Another fire, fire cover right there. 282. I think I got like four of those. Love that book right there. 283. Forgot the name of that dude. He can like control your emotions and stuff. 284. In the face for She Hulk. 285. Of course, Crybaby Johnny. 286. The Phoenix. 287. So I said John Byrne kept the kept the drama with the science fiction. This is one of my favorites, also right here. 288 with the Beyonder. Yo, I think I put this on Instagram a little while back, a couple maybe two weeks ago or so. 289. Love that cover. I love John Byrne's Human Torch. 290. Return of Annihilus. Got a few extras of that. We got a uh, Action Comics homage here with 291. The She Hulk lifting up the car there. Um, I don't know. I think this is one that people be looking to get with Hitler on the cover. 292. Nick Fury trying to take him out. And uh, we got this these back a little bit there's three more this is the last issue of John Byrne's run on the Fantastic Four Fantastic Four 293 we got uh, two annuals here Fantastic Four Annual 17 and Fantastic Four Annual 19 I hope you guys have stuck with this we are at 17 minutes of some change we're going to 18 minutes thank you for watching it. Have a great rest of the month, rest of the year. Hopefully I will be at least able to do one video per month before I get this thing unstrapped from my face. Uh, I hope you have liked these books. And if you've never seen them before, most of them are not expensive at all. Uh, it is a great run to have both visually and also to read great stuff from John Byrne. And as always, my people, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It seemed like since I went into the hospital, subscribers went down, regardless if they knew if I was sick or not. But that's to be, uh, c'est la vie, c'est la vie, right? So as always, be great and do great. Peace.